This is Visio 2010 Campus Network Diagram Part 4. In this video will be uh, adding buildings and placing equipment in buildings. Uh, this is where uh, all the work in terms of setting up the uh, stencils and uh, the um, containers starts to pay off. Now this is where we left off. This is just a switch that had been dragged out. I'm just going to delete that switch. In fact, I am going to delete this entire page. So this is the page uh, that we have to work with. And um, uh, first thing I'm going to do here is uh, start putting in some equipment. Uh, I'm going to go to View, and uh, I want Shapes, and Shape Data. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this. And so, of course, this is just going to be a typical installation. And, uh, in this data closet, I'm going to start with a patch panel at the top. And And I want to put in a um, 24 port switch. And put in a 48 port switch. And put in a EPS. And make my closet just a little bit wider. So that I can put this stuff in there. And I'd like to take this switch and put it out in front. Uh, and then I'm going to go and move my uh, labels a little bit. And that's what I like in this closet. Now you see as I put each one of these in here, uh, you'll notice the location. It's got this closet identification right there. Okay, I'm going to add some fiber. Let's see, uh, single mode fiber. Put it in like this. And then I'm going to take this patch panel and bring it to the front. Okay. And uh, so this is my first data closet. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And in this particular building, I'm going to say that I've got another data closet uh, up on the next floor. And I, it's going to be pretty similar to this one. I'm just going to take this and move it up here, hold down the control key. And now I've got a data closet up here. One thing I want to do is uh, label that. So I was using uh, two letters for a building code, then a number for the floor, and a letter for the closet on the floor. So I'm just going to change that data closet designation. And uh, I'm going to want to probably add a little fiber here. I'm just showing my fiber cables uh, all going down. Um, and I'm going to assume here that this cable is uh, another cable coming from the center of campus. And I was going to bring single mode fiber from this patch panel. And then it'll go. So when we number this, I'm going to number that cable that I just put in, and uh, I'm going to give this cable up here in the data closet upstairs the same cable number. And that will be kind of important later on when we're reporting on all this. So um, let's uh, zoom out here. And this is what we look like in our building so far. And uh, now I'm going to add another building. 
it. So I'm just going to click on here. I'm going to rename. We got to choose the rename. I'm going to call this one um, Administration Building. And I'm just going to take this entire building over here. Going to the control C over the next page and control V. Now it just so happens that this particular building is um, let's say it only has one floor and but I have a number of data closets on the one floor. So I'm going to uh, go to page setup in that menu and Print setup. We have a landscape, leaf size, landscape, apply, and um, take this and get down, stretch it out a bit. And I'm going to take. No, I'm just clicking the edge of this. It's a closet. It's a container, so I can just take that whole thing and move it down here. Fact, uh, I think I'm going to put three closets on this floor. Going down the control key, and I'm just going to uh, just filling up a little bit. Now, one thing uh, that I want to make sure that I do here is um, get my closets uh, numbered. I'm going to call this building AB instead of OM. This will be uh, AB1A. And since these are all on the same floor, this will be AB1B. And I'm going to change the equipment around just a little bit in here. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, take the UPS out. And put the EMU in. And I'll do the same thing over here. than one UPS and wiring the closets from that central location. And I think I'll add one more switch over here. have another cable coming in over in this closet. Okay. Bring that switch to the front. And we can continue adding buildings and as you can see they go pretty quick. And our next video we'll be uh, looking at making some sense out of all this and we'll show how we do reports which are the, uh, the real asset of uh, using this setup with the data fields.